everyone, Peter Gusky with the Back Saver System. I want to talk about a condition called plantar fasciitis today. And by the way, thank you, John, for bringing this condition to my attention and prompting me to make this short video clip to show an exercise which is very effective in reducing the pain of plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis, by definition, is an inflammation of the plantar fascia. The plantar fascia is a tough band of connective tissue that forms the undersurface or the bottom of our feet. It's usually, the pain of plantar fasciitis is usually felt near the heel or the frontal portion of the heel. Like lower back pain, plantar fasciitis is due to something tightening, connective tissues tightening, losing their elasticity, beginning to shorten in your body. It's the nature of connective tissue to begin to tighten or shorten as we begin to age. And most of us feel these types of pains, musculoskeletal pains, that are due to connective tissue tightening. We begin to feel them usually in our 30s or 40s. Additionally, like lower back pain, this can appear to come on very suddenly. One day you wake up in the morning, you put your feet down as you get out of the bed, and you can have quite severe pains on the bottom surface of your foot. But although it appears to come on very suddenly, it's usually due to these connective tissues, in this case the plantar fascia, slowly tightening up, usually over the course of months and many years. It just suddenly gets to a point where the tightness is such that it becomes symptomatic and now we actually feel the pain. Like lower back pain, it, it also, you'll feel most of the pain oftentimes first thing in the morning. When we're sleeping at night, we're essentially non-weight bearing. So the connective tissues in our body that have already begun to tighten now get kind of an extra chance to really tighten up at night when we're not putting any weight on them. So lower back pain as well as plantar fasciitis is often most severe first thing in the morning. This is due to a tightness, a lack of elasticity. This is not due to a bone spur on the bottom of your foot. There are many people who on x-ray show a bone spur and a rather large one on the bottom of their foot and they have absolutely no symptoms, no pain whatsoever. This is due to something being tight. Because that's the case, surgery to loosen up the plantar fascia or surgery to remove a bone spur for plantar fasciitis, that type of aggressive treatment Surgery of any type for plantar fasciitis is fraught with complications and filled with unsuccessful cases. I want to show you a very simple exercise that can dramatically reduce the pain of plantar fasciitis. Here's the way it works. First, you have to take the shoe off. There's no way around that. You go into this position where you're down on one knee. I'm going to be treating my left side, so I'm now down on my right knee, putting almost all of my weight on the right side. I want this leg to be loose, to be completely relaxed. I'm going to put all of my weight on the right knee and my right hand. You'll have to play with this a little bit as far as positioning of this leg. You don't want much weight on it, but you may have to put it slightly backwards or slightly forward in order to feel a mild, dull stretch on the plantar surface of your foot, the bottom of your foot, anywhere in here. Most people who have plantar fasciitis feel most of the pain around the heel or the front portion of the bottom of the heel. But when you do this exercise, you'll be getting the therapeutic effect if you feel a mild, dull stretch anywhere on the plantar surface of your foot. To initiate the exercise, again, make sure you don't put any weight on the left side of your body, no weight on the left leg, and then gently push downward on the heel with this hand until you feel that mild, dull stretch anywhere on the plantar surface of your foot. It should be mild and dull, never anything sharp. If you feel any sharp pains anywhere in your foot when you do this exercise, back off. You're just pushing it too hard. So gently push downward after you move your foot into the position where you feel that mild dull stretch and hold it for 30 seconds. For the entire 30 seconds, you wanna feel that mild dull stretch 
anywhere here on the plantar surface of your foot. You feel it anywhere there and you're getting the therapeutic effect. After 30 seconds, rest. Take your weight completely off of that foot. Rest for approximately another 30 seconds and then do another bout of 30 seconds with the pressure on the foot. Again, just enough to feel a mild, dull stretch. You want to do two bouts of 30 seconds, resting 30 seconds in between, and you want to do that twice per day. This can dramatically reduce the pain of plantar fasciitis, usually in one to three weeks.